Layer Zero has some new competition that is also doing an airdrop. Let me introduce you to the Wormhole Protocol. Wormhole allows for cross-chain communication and messaging between major blockchains, just like Layer Zero. Wormhole could be the bigger and better airdrop of the two, so let's make sure we're making ourselves eligible for this potentially enormous airdrop. This could net us up to $10,000 for just a short amount of time and money. So, welcome back again. I'm Theo, a content creator for the Alt Crypto Talk team. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice. Purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. And be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at AltCryptoGens for daily crypto content. And check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles, and everything crypto related. Okay guys. Let's jump straight into the video. So what do we know about Wormhole so far, guys? So we know it's a protocol like Layer Zero, which allows us to transfer NFTs and tokens. We know it allows us to do messages between different blockchains. And they have actually raised $225 million, and they are valued at $2.5 billion. Now, the Wormhole token is actually confirmed. It will be going by the name of Hole, and we are going to be getting our hands on this token by getting an airdrop. But obviously, we'll have to complete some certain tasks all of which we'll do in this video. Now, at the moment, I'm on the official Wormhole website, which is wormhole.com. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the official portal bridge, which is the official Wormhole bridge. And we are going to be using some Wormhole integrated protocols. So to begin with, guys, we're going to visit the portal bridge, which you can see at the top. As you can see, notice the portalbridge.com upgrade is live in beta. Check out the revamped bridging UX and app design. And you can do that by visiting this link by clicking the link in the top right corner. And we are going to do that now. So we're officially on the Portal Bridge website, which is portalbridge.com. So guys, as you may have guessed, you're going to need to connect your wallet, which we're going to do so by clicking this top one. There are multiple different wallets to connect to, such as Kepler. We can do Phantom, Wallet Connect, Metamask, and so on. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be connecting my Metamask wallet. And guys, we can also transfer assets to other wallets as well. You're doing Kepler, doing Phantom, depending on the network that you want to send to. So let's just say I connect my MetaMask wallet once again, as I'm going to be doing EVM compatible networks right now, but we can change this just to let you know. And I'm going to select a first network. You can do it as Ethereum first. You can do it as whichever one you like. However, in my case, I want to do it as Arbitrum, as I know I have a nice amount of Ethereum in there. So I'm going to choose my asset and it's going to be the Ethereum token. And this is the native token to the layer two network known as Arbitrum. And I'm going to be choosing a network to send tokens to. The whole idea of this, guys, is to build up as many transactions as possible, as much volume as possible, and over as many days, weeks, and months as possible. Now, I don't expect the wormhole token to be airdropped anytime soon. I actually expect it to come within the next year, but between March and December of 2024. Those are just rough guesses, guys. We obviously need time to use the protocol for them to see how it works, how they can improve their whole protocol network and so on. What I'm going to be doing is, guys, over the next few months, I'm going to be using this protocol as much as possible, bridging assets between different networks as much as I possibly can so that I can qualify for the best odds of the airdrop. Now, to carry on, I'm going to be choosing a different network down below. Let's just say I chose the Binance Smart Chain, which is the BNB chain. And as you can see, guys, we can choose any of these tokens to swap into. Let's just say I did USDC. I'm going to swap Ethereum into USDC on the other side. So let's just say I said 0.021, which is more or less $50 worth of Ethereum. And guys, it's worth noting that you can't actually do some transactions. For example, if I wanted to send ETH over to the BNB chain right now, I can't actually do it because there is no available route, which means that basically they can't actually do this transaction. So what we can do is you can just select networks and just basically find routes that don't have a block. But you can also go up to the top right and click USDC. And this is a specific USDC bridge. And this might be your better option as it is probably a lot easier and there might be a lot more available routes. And you choose any of the available networks. Make sure you swap your USDC tokens. So if we use this, just say we did 0.021 which is more or less $50. I'm going to swap it. And like I said, guys, it's a USD native only bridge. So you can only transfer USDC from this bridge. Now, obviously, you can do the other bridges and transfer other assets that are available. But just for the sake of it, we're going to be doing the USDC. And I'm going to be clicking $46 just to transfer. And here, you guys, you can see the different routes available. We have only got one, and that is through the official Circle application, which Circle is the company that owns USDC. So here we can see the total fee estimates, which is basically 0.0. 0.0015 ETH and $4 USDC. So it's pretty expensive to do this, guys, just to let you know. However, if it's going to give us an airdrop, then obviously we want to get this. Now, down here, we can see that Wormhole and Circle have partnered up to do this. And to me, that is a good sign. One that I will not be ignoring and one that could potentially be giving us an airdrop. 
So I'm going to click confirm and here guys we'll be able to see the token transfer, we'll be able to see the transaction ID, we just need to wait for it to send through on both networks and it will be good to go. With this one guys you don't need to do a manual claiming, you can just literally send it and it will reach the other side automatically. So what we're going to do is, I briefly showed you before that there was an advanced routing option and we're going to go back to do that again. So if we go over to advanced tools on the bottom of that page, what we're going to do is, we're going to be using the token bridge and you can transfer assets from Ethereum wallets to Solana wallets and so on. So let's just say I did Arbitrum as well, once again, connect my wallet, MetaMask. Let's just say I wanted to send over to a different network. It could be anything from Solana, Say, Sui, Terra, Near, Oasis, Clayton, Injective, so many different networks. But for the sake of it, let's just say I did, for the sake of it, let's just say I did Polygon. I'm going to select the token that I want to transfer. Let's just say it's Ethereum again, just because I've got that asset in my wallet and I know I do. I'm going to do 0 0.0069 just as an example. Click next. You have to switch the network, obviously. And then once you see down here, guys, the amount of gas fees and that you're happy to to pay that and that you accept that it is a manual payment then you click next and it's very important to understand that you need to have matic or whatever token it is that you're that you're sending to you'll have to have the network token on the other side so we are sending from arbitrum to polygon which means that we're going to need to have some matic tokens for gas fees to claim the tokens on the other side as this is a manual bridge so click next click switch network from here you click the transfer button this will initiate the transfer on arbitrum and wait for finalization if you navigate away from this page before completing step four you will have to perform the recovery workflow to complete the transfer that does not sound good so make sure you do not leave the page until it is completely done the tokens you will receive are portal wrapped tokens and will need to be exchanged for native assets click here to see available markets for wrapped tokens so we can open that in a new tab if we want to but for now let's just click confirm We're going to be sending fifteen dollars and seventy two cents including the gas fees Click send. Just to let you know, guys, this can take some time. So if it does take up to half an hour, an hour, be patient and it will eventually reach the other side where you'll have to redeem your tokens. And like I said, make sure you do not leave the page. Otherwise, you'll have to go through the whole recovery thing. What you can do, guys, you can also make sure you get your transaction ID by going over to the scan of either ARB scan or wormhole scan. Completely up to you. Here we can see exactly what I've done on my wallet through wormhole scan. This is your just average explorer. However, through the wormhole protocol specifically. So guys, while we're waiting for this transaction, transaction to be completed we're going to leave this tab open as it's very important as like it said if you navigate away from this page before completing step four which is to redeem the tokens then you will have to perform the recovery workflow to complete the transfer doesn't sound nice so let's carry on if we go over to base just to check that our first transaction is complete as well which this actually hasn't been completed still guys we're actually waiting for the bridge for the arbitrum to base maybe it's network congestion maybe that's why it's taking so long however so far layer zero seems to be the better option now guys the protocol that has integrated wormhole is carrier and the website is carrier.so which i'll leave linked in the description below and we're here we are able to send assets between different networks just like the portal bridge what you would do is you would just simply connect your wallet like you would choose which whichever wallet that you want, say if it was MetaMask, connect it, do the same with the other side, you can choose your networks from here, and choose Arbitrum at the moment, let's just choose my destination chain as let's just say base again, connect your wallet, obviously the same MetaMask address, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my Ethereum token, and I'm just going to choose the amount that I want to do, and just as an example guys, I'm going to just do 0 0.00369, I'm going to confirm and begin the transaction, it's pretty much like $5, $8.57 to be precise with a 30 cents gas fee, so that's pretty cool. Now we just wait for it to reach the other side. That is another transaction collected from Wormhole. So at the moment, we've done three transactions with roughly around $80 to $100 in volume, or maybe even more. I can't actually remember now. However, we're going to go through some more protocols, all of which that are connected to Wormhole. Now, you can also bridge with NFTs as well, just to let you know. You don't have to do just tokens, but you can bridge NFTs that are available on different networks. Going back just to check up, we are still waiting for our transfer to be completed on both the Arbitrum to Polygon network and obviously the Arbitrum to Base network. They are really taking their time, and like I said, it can take up to an hour sometimes, guys, so really you need to have patience. Now, one thing that you could also do, guys, to improve your odds of getting the airdrop is to use as many different networks as possible, and that means from bridging to and from. So, for example, try and bridge from ethereum try and bridge from solana try and bridge to aptos try and bridge to solana try and bridge from and to as many different networks as possible as i believe this will definitely help you increase your odds of getting an airdrop or even potentially increase the amount of tokens that you get from the airdrop 
So once again, guys, we're on a new protocol. This is another protocol that has integrated Wormhole, also known as Mayan Finance. And I'll leave this link in the description below as well. And we'll just be connecting our wallet. I'm going to be choosing MetaMask again. I'm going to click Next. Once again, I'm just going to choose Arbitrum. And what I can do is I can just choose, say, to Solana, which if I wanted to select that as my destination wallet, I would have to connect my Phantom wallet, which as you can see, pops up here. And then obviously you have to connect your wallet. And then you want to select the token that you're going to be swapping into. So let's just say it was Sol. I can do that. I can just click 0.00 however much I want to swap, which as you can see, I'm going to send $4 and switch it into Solana for $3 worth. Click swap, confirm swap, 56 cents gas fee, lovely, I'll do that. And voila, the Ethereum is on its way to swap into Solana into my Phantom wallet. How amazing is that, guys? I've got two wallet swaps going on at the same time, all powered by Wormhole, all giving me an airdrop, which could potentially give me an airdrop for two different wallets. So this is a great way to qualify for airdrops. Just use different networks, just use different protocols, and we should be good to go. Now, guys, we're officially on the next step, and that is to head over to Zeely.io. And this is a great community protocol that you should all know of, as we have done this in many airdrops drop tutorials in the past. Now, Wormhole has their very own community on this website and they're going to be helping us qualify for the airdrop by completing some mini tasks. And let me show you. So what you want to do is you want to search for Wormhole. As you can see, this one comes up, not the Wormhole ecosystem. We want the official Wormhole one. And what we're going to do is, guys, we're going to be completing these very simple and easy tasks. So all you have to do is follow Wormhole on Twitter, click follow. If you haven't done so, it will take you over. You just click follow, which we've already done. We can head back, claim the reward. And these are the simple tasks that you will need to complete. They're very, very easy. It's just as simple as clicking on it, visiting pages, completing the tasks that are required, heading back, and then claiming the reward. So as you can see, we just got to wait 10 seconds and then we can claim this reward, which is 30 XP. All of this XP could build up to some tokens, all from Wormhole. So claim the reward. These are all the basic tasks. Next, to do all of this, guys, we actually have to join the Discord. And obviously, we just have to go to this little button here where it says Join Wormhole Basics. And then go to the Join Wormhole server of the Discord. Click Join Discord. It will give you an official invite link. Well, it should anyway. You accept the invite. From here, you click the Complete button. Scroll down. I've read and agreed to the rules, submit, click verify, continue, continue. Now you just enter the code, so 519449. And bingo was his name, oh, we have been verified. So if we go back to Zeely, we claim the reward and give this page a refresh and you scroll down, you will see that we can now start the test your wormhole knowledge. So follow me and you will get the correct answers. So test your knowledge. Who are the guardians? If you fail, you'll be able to retry after an hour. So get this right, guys. So a set of distributed nodes which monitor state on several blockchains, a team of intergalactic outlaws, nope, an upcoming layer one chain, which is obviously A. So claim reward should be correct. Correct. Number two, what do the guardians do? If you fail, it's another hour, guys, just to let you know. Run full nodes for each chain to monitor the wormhole called crumb tracks. Observe messages and sign the corresponding payload. Serve as validators that attest the messages they observe on the connected chains. I'm pretty sure this is all of the above. Let's check. Correct. On to question three. What are X assets and X data? If you fail, you'll be able to truly try it after. The hottest new meme tokens, definitely not. The newest members of the X-Men, definitely not. So that leaves us with option C, arbitrary data and assets that exist in their own layer independent on any blockchain, which makes X data accessible by all blockchains. Should be this one. Superb. Question four. What are XD apps? Cross-chain decentralized applications that can utilize X data and X assets. That already makes sense to me because the other ones definitely don't. Claim reward. Question five. What is the best place to find wormhole developer resources? Book book.wormhole.com would make sense. A link someone DM'd you definitely not on crypto Twitter. So book.wormhole.com sounds right. Claim reward. Superb. Where can you submit a wormhole bug bounty? Wormhole.bug bounty and immunefire.com bounty for wormhole. So we need to actually check that, which I'm going to quickly do and skip that and then come back to it so you don't have to watch that. And it's actually both the above. Lovely. Question seven. Where is the best place to find portal bridge guides and liquid markets? I would assume the docs.wormhole page, which we're going to check. Claim reward. Correct. Where is the best place to get Wormhole and Portal Bridge support? The Wormhole Discord, obviously, not shouting loudly or the Telegram. Question nine, will a Wormhole official moderator ever DM you first? No, no way, or no. Well, all of the above. Claim reward. Question 10, the final question, what is an easier way to avoid scams? Turning off DMs from untrusted individuals, never opening unknown links from unknown individuals, exercising caution and doing your own research, or all of the above. Well, it's got to be all of the above. That should be the correct answer, and we should have done them all, which we have. And guys, we've got a daily to connect as well. So if you come down here at the bottom, connect daily and claim that every single day just to get that XP, and basically just complete all these tasks that are available. All very simple, and all you have to do is click buttons and take a few minutes of your time.
Now, I'm going to be sending you the link to this website as well, so you don't have to find any dodgy links. I'll send you a direct invite to the wormhole page. Now, if we go back to the token bridges, we can see that we are still waiting for the tokens to send over. We still need to wait for this transaction and the manual one to claim, which once you do, guys, this blue bar will fill up to the top. And once we get to the bottom on step four, we'll be able to redeem the tokens manually by going over to the Polygon network, which we sent to, and then claiming the tokens manually by clicking the claim button and then confirming the transaction within our wallet. Now, once you've done that, guys, it's pretty much just straightforward. You need to use this as much as possible. You need to go through as many different decentralized applications that are integrated with Wormhole, but do so safely and obviously complete those Zeely tasks and do the questionnaire. Once you've done that, guys, for the moment, you are pretty much as eligible as anyone else, unless, of course, they have done more volume than you and more transactions but that's different for everyone so you can make it as good as you want it to for yourself but guys that's pretty much it for this video just one more thing we have a huge playlist for you guys this is going to be the 59th video in the airdrop playlist all of which can be found on our youtube channel we've got 58 videos other than the one that we just made covering zeta chain zk sync metamask starknet layer zero venom cashmere labs syndicate eigen layer five ir orbiter finance linear zerion starknet dmail opbnb holograph zora and so many other crypto airdrops that you do not want to miss. We are on our way to $100,000 from airdrops. If you want to join us, this is the playlist where you can find me. Now, guys, thank you so much once again. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And we also have a promotion running on Bybit, the best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading, and earning. Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies, and you can claim up to $4,380 just by signing up using the link in the description below. It's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DGENs.